We all know by now that AI creates stunning visuals and writes compelling stories. But are all of these coming from the same AI? The short answer is no, but let me give you a longer one. The world of AI creation is built on surprisingly diverse technical blueprints. Let's take the masters of language, for example, the ones behind chatbots and text generators. These are often called large language models. They are typically built on the transformer architecture. Think of the transformer like a super reader with an incredible memory that doesn't just go word by word. It instantly gets the meaning of a whole sentence, even a whole page, by seeing all the connections between words, no matter how far apart they are. This ability to understand context over vast distances is the core magic that allows LLMs like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and Claude to converse with remarkable fluency. They become masters of language prediction, calculating the most likely next word and the next, building sentences that make sense based on everything they've read. And how about AI creating images? That's a completely different kind of creative challenge, often tackled by two main types of architecture, diffusion models and GANs. Diffusion models have a particularly cool and somewhat counterintuitive trick. Their core idea is learning to understand the process of adding noise to a perfect image until it's pure random static. Once they master that destructive process, they simply learn how to do the exact reverse. Starting with random noise, they gradually remove the noise using what they learned about how it was added. This is the engine behind many image generators like DALI, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. Guns, on the other hand, use an adversarial game. Imagine two AIs. One, the generator is the master forger constantly trying to create fake data, say an image of a cat that looks real. The other, the discriminator, is the sharp-eyed detective whose only job is to spot the fake. They are locked in a continuous battle. Every time the detective successfully identifies a fake, the forger learns from its mistakes and creates a better fake. This constant competition pushes both the generator and the discriminator to become incredibly good. This is AI learning by trying to deceive itself. Each creative domain often requires tailored technical approaches and variations on these models. But why do we have these different brains? Well, it's because generating complex language sequences is a fundamentally different engineering problem than sculpting pixels from noise. Understanding these core technical ideas shows you the remarkable engineering and diverse approaches behind the digital creativity we see all around us, driving incredible innovation across countless fields.